So we've just started up. Our fuel gauges are on the top right here. So in the right side it's showing 22. We measured 24. On the left it's saying 26. We measured 26. Now we'll look at the... right away, I haven't touched every, anything. I haven't told it anything. The fuel computer has noticed that we've added fuel to this airplane. So it already comes up automatically with our fuel computer quantity adjustment. Big yellow levels mismatch. So up here is the liters remaining. And we, so we've calculated that we have 50 liters of fuel on board and it's only got 15 liters of fuel. So we're now going to set the fuel so that they match. So we think we have 50 liters. It is measuring the fuel in tank as 48.5 liters. That's close to our 50 liters. So we'll set it to 50 liters. So I'll just turn the fuel and increase it until the current fuel computer quantity is 50. So we've, we've measured dipped in the tank 50 liters. We've set it to 50 liters. And now we can accept it. And now our fuel computer says 50 liters remaining. Notice it hasn't changed at all what's on the gauges. The gauges always measure whatever fuel it measures in the tank. So if the nose is way high up in the air, it will measure zero fuel in the tank, even if they're half full. The liters remaining is only correct if it was set correctly to start with, and if all the fuel is going through the fuel flow meter under the, under, in the forward of the firewall, it measures how much fuel the engine's burning. Now, if it doesn't come up, if there's a mismatch here, and the quantity doesn't come up, you're going to have to get into that fuel setting on your own. And the fuel setting is in engine, and then fuel, and that same screen pops up. If you don't have a, have a good dip of how much, or it's out by a couple liters, and you're not quite sure how much is on board, but you know how much was added, you can just add, oh, I, I added 20 liters to the plane, so you can just put add 20 liters, and now it says we have 70. And that adjustment is made by turning the right hand button, and which will cause the numbers to change. Uh, whichever button has fuel. If the, if the fuel label was over here, then we would turn this one, but the fuel label is over here, so we turn that one. So you're always, these buttons never do a specific thing. So you're always looking to see what each button will do. Oh, there's the fuel, turn it, adjust it, we're good. So again, once, once we've got that quantity so that it's right, we'll accept it. And then we're done setting the fuel.